Welcome back, everybody, to episode number 12 of the Road to Supersonic Legends series. We're going to kick right off where we left off in the last episode, which was one of the weirdest episodes so far. If you watched it, uh, it was the first time we were in gold. What a weird rank this is. I'm, I'm definitely not prepared for this. Uh, but thank you to Cute Pink Bandana Man, who offered a new name and picture. As you can see, my name is Take the Shot. And uh, he said just to get a photo of Arnold yelling. So that's what I did on Google. I just typed that in, and it was the first photo. So <laughs> here we go. I think it's a pretty good combination. We're going to jump into the first game. We are Gold 1 Division 3. We should be getting into Gold 2 at least midway through it in this episode. We're doing like three or four games, depending on how long and uh, how ridiculous they are. But I'm sure... We're going to see even weirder things in this episode, I just have a feeling. Let's get into the first game, let's see how it goes. Alright, nice and quick, we got our first game. We got Lord Luigi, Just Gamer, you're a bot. <laughs> Classic names. Also, we just got a, a little bit of an achievement there. Gotta love when you're on a new account. I don't even know what the, I just got that for. I just joined in a game. Right away. So I'm going to cheat up here in the mid. I have space in the middle to get this boost. To make sure I beat him. This guy's on the ball pretty early. So I just turn off. Turn away and see if my teammate wants to come in. Good challenge. See if he goes again. It's a good try. He does chip it forward. But we're going to wait on this wall here. I'm going to pop it up. I feel like Laura Luigi is going to miss. He, my teammate's way far back. So I'm going to do this pop again. Hopefully that will give enough time to push up and help out the team. So a little bit of a, 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 a slow rotation. I'm going to pop it around again. Just coming on. I'm just like making sure to support my teammate. Um, make sure I don't want to challenge too far away. It's a good shot opportunity. Close. Nice try. So just waiting in mid. Just watching behind. My teammate is rotating ball side. So be a little bit careful. Just going to pop that off the corner. Pop it around them. And once again, my teammate's pretty far. Just going to wait behind him. Pushing up. It's a good chip. Close. And there we go. So now you can see that we're actually moving into the... Uh, the upper, you know, rank where we're at that middle ground where my team is actually setting me up for things and I want to make sure I finish those. It's a really good pass. Um, obviously, in the earlier ranks, I wanted my teammate to help out and uh, do what he can to carry the team. But I think at this point, when we're moving closer into platinum at some point, we got to we gotta start working towards helping our teammate out. I don't know where he is right now, speaking of. <laughs> and there he is. He's coming across. So this ball could be chipped across in front. So be careful of that. A good try they're pressuring pretty well i'm gonna fake this i don't know i don't know how to hit this <laughs> oh no that's not good okay i'm going a little bit too fast I gotta slow down you know as a goal i don't know if i'm able to hit those good fake teammates coming across good challenge good try so i'm gonna hit this off the wall here and come back in the mid see he's jumping so i'm trying to get a good 50 50. teammates coming in as well this guy could miss so i'm just gonna wait behind it's the fastest paced game we've had so far in the series. So this is pretty dangerous. Right here. Gotta be careful. Good challenge. Waiting behind. Waiting for the pressure of the shot. And then once I let go of the ball, I can push in and make a good play. Here, I'm gonna grab this boost because the opponent's behind me. Obviously an open net for anyone who's like a higher level player, but don't want to be over aggressive. Bit of a miss from my teammate. It's a good, the right idea. He said sorry because he knew it was the right thing to do. Once again, I hit it around them. You can see how that I'm just making pressure and just making sure I don't overcommit. And when I see an opening with the ball like this, I can come in and hit the ball and it ends up being a goal too. So in those situations, all I'm doing is just waiting. I basically, I've, I've said this very many times in some of my interviews back in the day, uh, even in my early days at RLCS, the way I play, and I think that a, a very good way to play solo queue is to have this little traffic light in your, in your, the back of your head that basically has a red light for all the times, oh, that's fine. Uh, a red light for all the times you don't want to go for the ball. And the second it goes green, act on it. The second it goes green. I don't care if you, like, that's how you're going to get better. And the more that you you basically reinforce that, that red light and green light habit, the more you'll know when the green light is being truthful or not. Because you're going to get some good in instincts. Um, like right now, this is a green light. Right here, it's a bit of a red light because he's on the ball, but he misses, so now it's a green light. Right here, it's definitely a green light because it's open, and I'm going to hit that forward. I'm not going to go finish it, um, but that's sort of the idea. And I do that all the time in my games, even in Super Sonic Legend. I'm sitting there doing red, red light, green light all the time. And with Super Sonic Legend, that, that light flickers back and forth every half a second. And I'm not even joking about that. That's just how it works. So when I have possession, it's obviously green. But the way I'm making my play with the ball is going red and green. So it's like just different steps. Right now, wh what I want to do with my challenge. I, I want to challenge now because he let go of the ball. 
Now, do I want to get behind my teammate? Green light. I'm going to go behind. And I know that sounds really silly. I haven't really talked about this before in the series yet. But I think this is like very, very, very important. And uh, it's huge. And there we go. That's a huge way to move up in the, in the ranks. Uh, if, you, if you go in autopilot at any second, that's a time where you could have improved yourself. Because you need to make sure you're on top of it. If you really want to rank up, if you really want to push forward, that's the biggest key, I would say. It's just never go on autopilot and keep that like little red light, green light in the back of your head. And think about when you want to act on things and stop hesitating because hesitating is just gonna be bad i would rather that you hesitate like you don't hesitate and you just make actions and choose because the more you do that the faster you'll learn and i do leave the game there so it's a nice shot at the end i'll just pop it out got bumped by the opponent but we landed okay and they were just a little bit slow but i think that was like that's probably the most valuable piece of information i could have given so far in the series and as the series evolves i'll definitely give out more uh little key tips but uh, the hesitation is huge for a lot of people. They just don't have the confidence to go for things. But the problem is, if you don't work towards improving and upping that arsenal, uh, you won't have the confidence. So you need to basically make mistakes. And I think people are afraid to make them. Which is why a lot of people are actually really, really scared of 1v1. Because it outlines how many mistakes you make. <laughs> um, also, probably why it was called a 1s main, even though I was just good at them. I didn't really play them that much. But yeah, that's, uh, that's so far... We're, we're sitting here with uh, a minute left. There's a guy, only one guy here. The other guy rage quit, I guess. But we'll just move on to the next game. I'll show the end of this this game and see if we move up in a, a rank or two. But yeah, that was a good first game. All right, so we finally left. We just scored one more, and there we go. So we got winner, winner by forfeit really good game honestly i didn't do like a lot i think i definitely scored more than i have been in this entire series but obviously with my teammates setting me up like that i can't just not take it i'll probably annoy him and i don't want to make his experience bad um and i don't want to make it too obvious that i'm not at this rank but at the same time i want to make sure i'm just playing to that rank and i think that's more than a more than uh within the capabilities of a gold player to score that open net especially when he pops it so, so well in mid like that but we do get division four so we're one one rank away from uh division two or gold two division probably two they always move up into like division two or three but let's get into the next game see how it goes apparently the game loves this map right now bendy nuggets 268 what a name and shark troy and ohio bobcat these names that's a really good back pass it's really good by him to pop that backwards right here you can wait for this ball there's no one on the ball right now. My teammate's right behind me. That's okay, though. And once again, I'm just going to pop this up because he's challenging really, really early. And you see how valuable that is. See if my teammate comes in and makes a shot. Good save by them. Right here, I can see that I have space. Teammate comes in. The opponent comes and makes a touch. That's making sure I stay on the wall. Wait for the ball. My teammate's kind of all over it. That's okay, though. Once again, be the bigger person. We talked about this earlier in the, uh, the episodes. Just uh, be the bigger person and back off. Let them do the thing. Don't don't get frustrated that they're, they're ball chasing. Just except the fact that they're not as smart as you you know you're a big brain but that goes a pretty good smart play there by bendy nuggets um being the bigger person just works out make a little pass and move out and it makes a good shot too so yeah my open net in the first game was definitely within the realm of possibility that was a great shot by him Let's see if he knows left goes he does it's a good pop right here my teammate wants the middle boost he should get it that's why i'm gonna go back to the other corner boost once again i'm gonna go behind my teammate I see that he's going to be outplayed, so I just sit behind and make sure I sit on it. Right here, I got 100 boosts. going to pop it up. It's a good try. Good pop, too. See what he does with this ball. Waiting in mid. Seeing what uh, my teammate does. Kind of pops it badly. It gives the, the possession. But this here, I can back off, and that's where the green light goes, and I just pop in forward to make a hit. See if he makes a shot. Good try. I'll pop it up. Don't want to overcommit since I'm last. Once again, see, I can let this ball roll to me. I got a lot more space to work with, and I bait him in because of that, too. So that's another thing where I can say there's a green light, but I want to I want to use a different option. There's lots of times. Um, and sometimes it's when the, the green light is fleeting. That's when I kind of just have to act. Um, right here, I can pop it around them first, hit it off the wall, and uh, try to go for the shot, but they're a little bit confused. It's a good save. Once again, I'm last here for a little bit, so I want to make sure I don't I don't commit. I stay smart here. Make a good touch. My teammate once again is rushing in, but that's okay. Just let him do that. Sit in the corner, be patient. I don't have to use any boost here. Go for the 50-50. And there we go. Now my teammate is on the ball, and he gets and he dies. 
Once again, I am first man here, but that pop that ball is way more dangerous for us than it is for the opponents since there's two of them. So I'm just going to back off and let them throw the ball back to me. In. A little, doing a little bit too much there, so I'm going to back off. And uh, any nuggets seems to be... <laughs> Seems to be gone for a second. One second, we're back with the uh, the whole disappearing for some reason since like that happened in the last episode. See if my teammate can score it. He's upside down. <laughs> He's here. He's just not doing anything. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh my god, look at him go. So I am doing quite a bit, obviously, but at the same time. Interesting. I really don't know what's going on with my teammate. He left the game. And I'm dead. Oh, they got confused. Okay, that's fine. I got a little scared there. They were going to score me. But yeah, my teammate left the game. Maybe his mom... I, I realized in the last episode that maybe his mom came in and said you need to get off or something. Well, let's see what happens. He's back. <laughs> and he missed again. Oh, bit of a miss from them. Good try. Once again, they don't have possession here, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. Pop it around the one. Get in their way. Oh. I'll back off. I would attack that because I can beat them, but let's we'll see what Nuggets has got. <laughs> Okay, he just hit it right to me, so that's fine. You see how my teammate's like one step behind the play at all times? Just keeps going, looping around. Okay, I'm not sure what... <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing. And once again, that's okay, though. Just gonna back off and let him... Let him be there, you know? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, I like it, Nuggets. Keep it, keep it going. That's a pretty dangerous pop. I want to be ready for that. Make sure I clear, uh, clear it to the corner. I uh, just kind of stole my teammate's boost, but that's okay though. I'll let him go on it now. This, this game's kind of falling apart. Not gonna lie. It's a good touch. Keeps it to the corner. Pretty scary though. Let's see if my teammate goes for this. It's a good shot to round them too, and there we go. Nice, great shot. I mean, not much has happened in this game. Not gonna lie, uh, it's been a little, little bit weird with him disconnecting and then coming back. I wasn't sure if he rage quit or something. Maybe I was doing too much. <laughs> Probably doing too much, and he maybe he realized, but he didn't want to lose the game, so he came back. But I'm just gonna re. Oh, that might be internet. Oh, I'm gonna miss this. Okay, they missed as well. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate. They're probably not too happy with that one. As you can see, Shartnoid... Uh, or Shartnoid... Shartn... 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 Troy? That's such a weird name. Uh, he was not too happy with that one, so he left. But we're still Gold 1 Division 4. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're moving on. And the sad thing is, all of them were console and they couldn't enjoy my photo. That's unfortunate. Speaking of console... <laughs> Pat's Nation 12. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he's got. Elite Furious... And, uh, Ellie A. Simp. Just waiting on the back back line there. Want to make sure I'm ready to boost across in case this, the shot comes across. Here, I'm going to pop it up mid. See if my teammate wants to push up. It's a good try. Right here, I can hit this off the wall. I think that's, like, fair. I just jumped off the wall. Pretty dangerous for them, though. They're panicking. They're panicking. And there's a shot. So, all I have to do is just jump off the wall a little bit and do a front flip. And pop that ball in the mid. And at this rank, they seem to be <laughs> unable to deal with that ball a little bit. Not too much mechanics on the wall there. Just letting the ball roll up the wall and then jumping in to flip it out. Um, like I said, there are a lot of training packs. Oh. Alright. Take the shot. It's all you. Okay, I'll save that. <laughs> uh, let's let it let's see what happens here. The kickoff was a little bit unfair. All right, Pats Nation, go for it. Oh, that was nice of him. He, he waited just in case I wanted to go, but I'm. It's all you. 
Stevie's got it in the bag. Good clear by Elite Furious. So, I, I don't know what to do here, honestly. This is kind of just silly. Oh. Nice shot. So, he's going to be trying for the 1v1. I probably... I mean, it's fine if we just take a little more time. But most of this will probably be cut out just because this is silly. Uh, that guy immediately left after one goal, which is unfortunate. Went for the kickoff. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'm just going to say we're just going to move on to the next game. He did leave. Okay. So there we go. That was such a silly game. I don't know why he left in one goal. Don't do that. There's so much time. And people like seem to get like really negative with this game and you have to stay positive to be able to move up in the ranks. If you stay negative, you're never going to win your games. But I bet we're probably gold two now. Gold two division one. So there we go. A little bit of a, a rank up there. Oh, we'll move on to the next game. Once again, continue the streak of just weird games. I don't know. People are just AFK and I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Another console game. Another full console. We got a silver tournament winner on my team. Roommate Rob. Belbo and Dill 22 Dog. So I'm just going to wait for that bounce once again. Those are really good to wait for. Just wait in the mid. Wait for the wall to bounce. Or the ball to bounce off the wall. Good challenge. Pretty dangerous, but they're both in a weird position. I'm just going to stay with this. Oh, nice try. Trying too hard to make a play here is my teammate. Uh, I don't have to worry about that. Just back off and wait for it. Get in middle. It's a close try. It's a nice effort. A nice effort for him. It was definitely easily scorable. I just don't want to make it look like I can air roll and stuff like super well. Bit of a miss from him. Hopped around my teammate. My teammate bumps me. And there's the finish. <laughs> uh, that was interesting. Yes. Yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> it works, I guess. We'll move on. So he says defending. I don't know if that means he's just going to chill in net. Maybe, it, maybe he is. He's going to move forward. Bit of a miss. But I don't go for that middle boost just because I see that he could get outplayed. So I want to back him up. Uh, back him up. Thought my teammate would be there. I definitely could have just scored that myself, but I don't want to be too fast. My teammate also trying to challenge that, so I'll move behind. Right here, I can see the ball bouncing, but I also see Belbo near the ball. Don't want to overcommit. That's why my teammate wasn't even back yet, so I'm going to bring this back corner. It's round one. <laughs> I'll move off now. Oh! Nice try by roommate Rob. Does, doesn't need to aerial like that. Once again, I'm going to wait in mid here for this boom. Let's see if Guilty Dog can... <laughs> Let's see if my teammate says anything back to that. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, I was... I don't know. I had the feeling I just wanted to do that for some reason. <laughs> like, it was definitely open for him. But I guess because we're not losing, he's okay with it. I bet you if we were losing, he'd be really mad. <laughs> Nice little pop forward. Roommate Rob up up the field. Bit of a miss. Good try. Good try, my teammates. It's a little risky to challenge that, especially when they have possession. It's a good touch. Good try. Once again, I'm just gonna fake the challenge. So you don't you don't have to actually push up. If the goal if the end result isn't a goal, why why put yourself out there to be completely out of the play, you know what I mean? Here, I'm just going to do one more pop. Make it a little bit awkward. It's a good save by Dill. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? I'm going to pop it up nice nice and high for the backboard. See if my teammate can come in. Once again, you can see how dangerous that is. Uh, just to pop that up on the backboard, especially at this rank. It seems like not a lot of people can deal with it like this. You just pop it up. The aerial game is pretty t tough. Even for my teammate. <laughs> Once again, I'm just going to pop this forward. It's a little bit high, but good save from them. Just adding a lot of pressure. Just staying behind the ball. Right here, you can see that he's trying to push on the ball, but I have possession. I can tell I'm going to win that. I'll pop it forward. Bit of a wide rotation from Dill, but it's a good positioning from them to sit behind. It's a really good pop. Once again, this is very dangerous for them. I'm going to see if my teammate can clear it. It's a good save from them.
teammate was under the ball. A little bit dangerous, but it should be okay. Get 50-50. See if he stays on this. Which he should. There we go. Close on the pinch. If he tried to like, hit that again, it would have been really, really good. Once again, I'm last here, so I don't want to push in. Wait until he throws the ball away, then challenge. This is okay situation to go since I can jump higher than him faster at this rank. But um, once again, I just have the confidence to pop that across. It's a good clear from Belbo. Wait for their touch. I don't want to overcommit with my teammate. I see that I'm beating him here. It's a little bit dangerous, but it should be okay. Let's see if Belbo tries for this. I'll make it clear forward. So now. Dill is going to take the boost. That's smart. It's a good clear as well. So we're, we're, so we're sitting here pretty pretty with the one goal. Pretty pretty. Um, just trying to stay relevant on the ball. I don't want to do too much. I'm not trying to do too much. I'm going to try and pass this middle. Teammates next to the ball, which is a situation that I talked about before. Where if your teammate's the one always on the ball, sometimes you just got to be the one to finish off the play. Um, in this situation, I'm just kind of vibing with the one goal. But we're, we're fine. We're, we're chilling. See my teammate wants to challenge. Good clear. A try for this. This could be an open net for them. Bit of a miss. And there we go. So this should be the game here. Teammate wants to keep it up a little bit. That's, that's fine. But we get the, the win there. It's a little bit dangerous at the end. I, I wanted to try for the aerial because you should be going for those. The, those are definitely scorable. Um, I don't think that your aerial game would be the greatest at this rank. Uh, if you put the practice in and free play, you can definitely get way better at it. I've talked about that in the first few episodes of this series, um, but it's it's okay if it's not. Like I said, you gotta just try for it. You gotta know when it's the right call to make it um, and make the, the attempt. Even if you can't make the shot, just try for it. And at some point when you keep trying for it, you'll end up making it. I get a lot of questions on Twitch, which if you wanna follow me on Twitch at lethemir underscore RL, I get a lot of questions about how to get, how do you get so good, right? How do you get so good at this game? And it really is just a test of time. How much time you want to invest, how many hours you want to put into practicing one thing. Back in the early day when I, I started playing this game, uh, I there were there wasn't even training packs back in the day, but there was like a really cool mod on the PC that would let you set up your own shots in free play and run through the scenarios over and over again. I would do that for like literally two, three hours in one day, uh, just back and forth every day I would try it until I started hitting a ball, which I know is crazy, but that's just how it is. That's the reality of Rocket League. It's all muscle memory. It's all intuition and uh, pure skill. But that, with that final little monologue, I think that's gonna be gonna be where we end this episode off. I think it's just uh, the best way to clear, uh, you know, stop the, the train of thought. We'll move on to the next episode with uh, more about that whole green light, red light situation, and uh, what to do with the ball in specific situations. As you can see, we're getting faster pace now. And uh, for you guys who are in gold or or lower, um, I'm sure you guys are learning a lot about you know micro decisions that will help you become a better player. And it doesn't even require mechanics. It's just thought process and being a smart player. I've always like wanted to be a player who was smart in the game rather than you know just rely on my mechanics. But as I improve in the game, my mechanics become easier to pull off with the brains that I have in the game. And I'm not saying I'm the smartest player by any means. There's many players that are very, very smart in this game. It's just a matter of being one of those players that think logically and analytically about it, but don't hesitate while you're doing so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun to record. Um, not as weird of the of an episode as the uh, the last episode. If you haven't seen that episode, definitely check it out. It was pretty funny. But hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.